Hey everybody, on this episode of JR's Cars, I'm going to show you what you have to do if you can't get your key out of a GM ignition. So stay tuned. All right, everyone. So like I said here, um, if you're like me um, and you own a GM, you know, a late model GM, you've probably run into this problem before where you are driving around, um, you get to your destination, you put the car in park, you go to take the key out, and a thing doesn't want to come out. It doesn't go all the way back to the off position where you can pull your key out. So it's a very common GM problem, extremely common. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it is in my Pontiac Torrent um, obviously, this would be good for the Pontiac Touran, for the Chevy Equinox, and for the Saturn View. Um, but I'll show you what it is and what you can do to get your key out without having to wait for this thing to finally release your key to you. Okay, so ultimately what the issue is, obviously, is if you were to have your car in any other gear than park, um, there's a little sensor that's on the side of the shifter underneath this panel in here. And what happens is it opens the circuit. So when it opens the circuit, it's not gonna allow you to um, pull your key out of the ignition. So uh, it's a safety feature that GM put into their cars. So that way you can't, you know, say, get to your destination, um, leave your car in reverse, neutral drive, or any of the other gears that are in here and be able to just turn your key, pull it out and walk away from it. So what happens is the, um, the sensor itself, it's just a little piece of metal that pushes on a, uh, on a plunger. Um, it's very small. So what happens is over time, um, I mean, this, this car has 196,000 miles on it now. Over time, that metal starts bending and it doesn't fully uh, collapse the circuit. So what happens is if you're in gear and then see now it's, um, it, it opened the circuit. So if you were to go to put it back into park, it doesn't fully collapse that circuit again to release the key. Um, so you can sit there and, you know, go back and forth, back and forth and slam this thing into, into park. You can try and shift it, you know, move it up, shift it around, hit the, hit the button, um, to, to trigger it. It's still not going to let you have that key back until that circuit collapses. Um, so what I found was there's a, um, underneath the column, there's a, uh, electronic mechanism that keeps the, uh, the key from going all the way back. Uh, but there is a way that you can release the key by yourself manually. Um, if, if this ever happens, you can release the key manually to get out of your car at least, and you don't have to worry about, um, waiting for this thing to finally figure out what it needs to do. Okay, so mine is already out, obviously. I keep it out because I have this issue. Um, I haven't been able to find that part, so this is the next easiest way to do it. Um, so there's this little cover that's up underneath the column here. I popped it off. Basically, it's just, you know, a little clip that's there. You could take that and pop that free, and you can have this free. Now, what you can do, I don't know if I can get you in there so you can see it, but there is in here... You see that little, that right there? You can push that in, right? That little button right there, you can get your finger in here, push it, and that's the manual, of re that's the manual release, right? So that little button right there, you can get in there, push it, and that will release your key so you can get out of your car. Now, of course, like I said, uh, this is on a Pontiac Torrent. It's going to work for the Torrent. It's going to work for the uh, Chevy Equinox. It's going to work for the Saturn View. Um, I'm sure it's going to work for any other GM that's out there. Um, there might be small variations of what you actually have in there, but you're pretty much going to see the same thing. You just want to pop that, pop that, um, that little cover open. You want to get your finger in there and just feel around for wherever that button is. Um, push it, and you should be able to release the key, but you have to hold it you have to hold it as you're turning the key, right? So I hope this helped you out because 
I know this is a absolute and total pain when I'm trying to get out of my car in a hurry and the damn thing just locks up your key and doesn't want to leave, doesn't want to let you leave the car. So, uh, do me a favor. If it helped you out, share the video around. Cause I'm sure there's other people that have the same problem. Give me a like, drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel. Cause I'm definitely going to have more content for you guys. I hope everyone's staying safe and I'll catch you in the next video.